Pixels. Hello everyone and welcome back to another High Pixel game. So, last episode I mentioned something about TNT Wizards. So, I felt like I should try it today. So, as it says, TNT run PvP run both Spleef TNT tag and Wizards. So, to me this one is a really good one cuz it's kind of like a battle to the death, but it's kind of like take points and whoever gets the most points wins and kills add to it i think i'm not completely sure i haven't played this game in a while i i'm pretty sure they do so i'm gonna be on the red team for this and i am going to see how well i do and i'm gonna choose ice wizard because to me that's a good one because you can defend and attack so it's a good one and I know that I can double jump like this, so I have a slight advantage. So, yeah. So, basically, you just... That's basically my defense. This is my attack, and I try and find the bases. I'm not good at this type of thing. I am basically blind, and they're usually far away in this one map. They used to have three, but I'm guessing they took them de the other two down. To me, the other two are better than this one. So, me and this other person are basically going to try and take over this point. And we have to make sure no blue people stay here, or else it'll reset the thing. So, basically, we have to kill this guy, wherever he is there. Oh, I thought I was going to die. So we killed him, and now we're taking over this base. And something I love doing is sneaking up to the opponent's base. Because it's not like they can really see you do it, unless, like, they catch you. Okay, and apparently I was caught. Probably because I wasn't doing anything, or, like, to watch myself. So basically, I'm going to at least try and sneak over to the opponent's base in at least one of the rounds. So I basically got myself killed. Almost. Like, pretty much anyone can see you here. So I'm getting up. So I'm at least going to try and get somewhere higher. So I'm going to at least... So I don't know why. Okay, so at least that plan worked. So as I scale this building, you can kind of see their base over there. I'm gonna w make my way over to because I can kind of kill most people once they spawn if I'm high enough. So basically, I get a huge advantage like that. And if they don't see my trail because I'll try and delete it, like by blowing it up, then I can actually win because then they can't see anything I've done. Oh, okay, apparently it's too easy to see me. But it's hard for them to really catch me up here if I destroy my pack. Like, they'd have to shoot me up here or chase me up here. And the only wizard that can get me, really, is the, another ice wizard. So I'm kind of safe up here. And, you know what, just for the heck of it, I'm just going to try and get up to the top of this lighthouse beacon thing. And I failed miserably just now. I am probably going to die. Hopefully I don't though, because I hate that type of thing. So I'm just going to at least... Well, actually, since I can double jump, I'm actually going to try and get up there, through here. Because, like, you usually never try and get to the top of these things. Because it's always, like, a war. So I'm going to try doing that today. So I basically just set myself up for disaster. Okay, so I'm, I'm back to my old path. Well, so I've gone back to my old path, so I'm at least able to get higher up now. So I'm going to use this path to get higher up. I don't really care about kills right now. Like, I'm just staying up here. Like, to me, hiding is safer sometimes if you're an ice wizard. Because attacks like that, which kill you over time, are probably the worst things that could happen. So, since I've been messing up, like, since I've been goofing around a bit, I'm just gonna try defending this time. So, basically, 
the bar on the side says how many points you need. My team is in the lead. And it usually says whoever has more bases will win in a certain amount of time. So I'm at least gonna help my team out a bit. And make sure that we don't lose, because I, well, I hate losing. So losing so many of the normal things in the um, Warlords part of, of this server. So, it's really easy for you to take over bases, but really hard to reclaim them as well. No, I just got myself confused. Basically, it can be easy to take them over and hard to get them back. Because when you try and take them over, it's not like you can really do anything. Because they're usually being attacked on any angle and you can't claim anything easily. So apparently that's the only place left I have to take. I think. Oh no, so it looks like my team is losing. So basically all you have to do to reset their thing is to stand on it. Which gives you some time. Trust me, this game gets really intense. Like right about now. Like, my team is the only one making points. So that gives me an advantage. Like my team an advantage, so I'm probably gonna win right now because they're trying to take over and they just did for the middle one, but it's super hard for them to take it back, really. Because it's like if you're moving like me, they can't do anything. Kind of like they can hit. Like since your attacks are basically explosions, if you avoid them, then you're pretty much safe. But right now, I'm probably gonna die. Like, you basically regen like normal Minecraft, but since you attack and defend with your hunger, you basically die. Like, no one can really regenerate anything easily. Like, it takes so long to do that anyways. And I burned to death. Oh, no, I didn't. That was luck. I'm probably gonna die. Yep, I die. So, it gets really intense for the people who take over everything. Because right now, Blue's gonna win in a minute... 20 seconds because they have at least a base to produce stuff and I just forgot to mention something that I should mention if you're the ice wizard any water you walk on will be frozen solid so right now I'm trying to at least take back this place for my team because I at least want to stand a chance and I feel like okay I just encased myself horrible idea hopefully I can break out so. so blue will win in a few seconds if I don't at least help so this is not gonna be good like they were the only ones gaining points for so I need to help my team and they are really guarding this one area so it seems like they're taking alpha that's at least good that we've taken point alpha but they're still gonna win at the rate they're going we take over beta though we will win Sadly, all the bases near me are, like, the only base that I can easily get to is, like, is Gamma, and that's not what I need. I need Alpha and Beta. So, in a few seconds, I will lose. It's GG from here. Three, two, one, it's over. Blue Team won, and those were the guys who did the most kills. I can't believe someone did 39 kills. So I'm going to try another game and see how it goes. Hopefully my team can do a bit better, maybe even win. Like, we did pretty good. We got close. It was a close game. So hopefully we can win this time, though. Because this game gets really exciting. So I did not know this would happen. So apparently they did keep the three maps, and they are switching in and out of them. Darn it, it was going to start, but they canceled it because not enough players. So this game is really interesting, and it's a really nice game to do. I mean, seriously. Because it's basically, like, all the fun of Warlords, but easier. So it's not, like, a big challenge. Plus, there are multiple classes that you can switch out of during the game. So it's not like you have to wait to do anything. So it's a nice game for that reason. Sometimes I find skins cool and creepy like this one. It looks like he's holding a scythe and he's a Grim Reaper. Stuff like this, like the Yeti. Oh, this isn't a Yeti. I don't know what this is, but it doesn't seem that like as creepy. 
So the game just started. I am Ice Wizards again. And this is the first map I ever played. I lost on it and I was on the blue team also in Ice Wizard. I prefer Ice Wizard for the reason of its defensiveness. Because it's hard to get hit. You can block. So I now have someone coming to help me. So we can now take over this base from this blue person. They have teleported behind us because they're fire. That's their special ability. Like all teams have a defensive ability, which, and there's this teleport and an offensive ability, which is shooting flames at us like a gas. So I'm gonna go. Actually, no, I have to stay here because this guy's being under attack. I will not lose the base. Apparently, I just did. Whatever, I'll get it back. Like the hard part about this game sometimes is like all the bases being attacked at once because you can never be fully sure whether a base is safe or not sometimes so you'll usually wind up thinking a base is safe and leave it to try and claim another one but then someone winds up coming in and taking their like the base away so that's not a good thing that's why i usually stay near a base only I'm gonna try and kill that person climbing the mountain they're so vulnerable Darn it! How did that guy fly? It looked like he was hacking for a second. Like, it literally looked like he was flying in the air for the time being. Like, he probably wasn't, but it looked like that. Oh my god, I'm bursting a fire and a wither. This isn't good. Mayday! Mayday! And I was killed by Top Notch. So there's a few minutes left. It looks like my team is gonna win. Basically, it goes up to 2,000 again. And it, and it basically counts down how long it should take for the points to make you win. The time limit always changes though when other people claim your bases and such. So that's what really makes the game challenging. Like, like you can't even leave your base for a second because your base can get claimed by an opponent and then you wind up having to take it back. And oh my god, he's coming! If I at least hit him once, that's good. I wasn't hit yet and I'm at full health. Oh my god, he's in a hole. Noob! Everyone knows you don't get stuck in holes in this game. You can jump out of them. Double jump. So I'm at least going to kill this guy. So we have two and a half minutes. And they have to claim any base they can. In order to win. I killed him again. So so I said earlier. I'm pretty sure you can get points by killing them. And I was wrong about that. I thought it was like Warlords for a second. I don't know how. I guess it just seems like it. So anyways, the game gets really interesting when you're frozen like I just was. Because then you can't do anything or move. And you have to, and basically all you can do is regen your, your hunger bars. And oh my god, I'm so dead. I have to back up at least. You know what, I'm getting in this tree. Because I know I can't survive this. Because even if there's some people there that can guard the base, I'm at least attacking from a distance. Because it's hard to regen, so I'm at least going to try and regen. Because that's important right now. Because I don't want to die. Because you don't regen normally. Because you can only regen normal Minecraft style. Like right now, I'm gaining health. Sadly, it's at a slow rate. But since you get saturation for the entire game, you don't have to worry about running and such. The bad thing is, though, like people will always be coming. Luckily, I just ran around there. Sneak attack! Oh, get owned. Yeah, he saw nothing coming from that. I basically just owned his takeover and blasted him away. Try taking over now. Getting back in that tree. That was funny, though. I mean, he just got owned by me. You didn't even see that one coming. You know what? I'm getting on the roof for an even funnier one. I'm just gonna jump down shooting multiple beams at them. You're not gonna see it. Luckily, I have jump boost, so shifting doesn't really matter for me. So it looks like there's one minute left, and we are close to victory. That is great. Apparently, no one is coming except for that guy in the water. I can't see now because he's in the water. So basically, it looks like my team's going to win. They own one place. It's going to take, like, maybe a minute or two. Because there's no way they can get enough points in order to win. And I just want more in that place. And seriously. He survived on the crazy. Pretty sure I killed him. Wait, he didn't die? So that's not good that he didn't die. 
So I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled. So I'm just gonna shoot down there. My beams take a while to hit. So, oh my god, I cannot believe I actually hit him. So I am stalling out for the next second. He cannot beat me. At least I will kill him. I think I've almost killed him. I know he's still there. You can see his name tag. So my teammate is up there chasing him to kill him. So I believe he is dead. And that is great. And we win. Yeah. So I'm going to try. Actually, no. Because I've already done two. I've actually forgot about the first round for some reason. I don't know how. So I actually thought this game took the entire video so far. So that is all for today. I will see you all next time.